The Rabbit Out of the Hat in Jeremy Hunt's spring budget was a big announcement on childcare reform. On the face of it, this was a momentous occasion. The government finally recognized that the lack of affordable childcare is a barrier to mother's employment and therefore a barrier to the country's economic prosperity. Once there has been an expansion of a public service like this, it can only be built on, which is good news. However, there are concerns with the design of this expansion. The expanded free hours are only available for working parents, and so the children who would benefit from it the most are excluded. The funding allocated is inadequate. The government has knowingly underfunded the current free childcare hours for years, forcing providers to charge parents more for younger children, to cross-subsidize the shortfall, and unable to then pay early years professionals enough to stop them leaving for better wages elsewhere. Without paying what it actually costs to deliver, recruiting the tens of thousands of workers needed for the expansion will be near impossible, and providers will be forced to turn parents down. Instead of an expansion of free hours that is underfunded, we need to reform the early year system so that it is funded more like schools are, with sustainable, reliable income for providers and local, flexible provision for parents. We need qualified and well-paid staff and low child-staff ratios to ensure high quality of care and education. And we need childcare that is universally available and free to parents at the point of use. This reform would need an initial investment of 0.7% of GDP, or around 18 billion pounds. But because of its positive impact on the wider economy, creating additional jobs across sectors, there will be extra tax revenues and less welfare spending. And so nearly two thirds of the initial investment would flow back to the treasury. It is good for parents, providers, workers and children and it is good for the economy.